real quick guys um this novak versus australia thing um on this stage on you know when it comes to the media and the global political sports stage whatever the hell is you know out like that in the public's eye whether it be on social media on the tv doesn't really matter but when on this stage i don't believe in coincidences okay there's no room for coincidences okay so mr no vaccine over here um in my opinion it's just a demonstration and we'll see which way it goes but it's a demonstration i think to some of the people that are you know that have enough money and are powerful enough to be able to defend themselves uh, within this corrupt system right take people to court sue people basically fight in that way for the people who have enough money and leisure time if you could call it that to be able to to defend themselves in such a way this is this is a model that's being uh, given to. It's a it's a bone that's being thrown to not uh, super elites, but the people just below, right? So, I told you guys a long time ago. Maybe it was on another channel, talking about uh, what's his face, Eddie Hearns. Um, I forget what it was called, but. Uh, UK big UK boxing promoter was during the lockdowns was having boxing shows because they were prohibited other places was having was putting on boxing shows in his backyard right behind his his mansion and the tickets were I forget like crazy priced very very high priced and for like shit fights anyway domestic level shit fights nothing special like charging crazy crazy ticket prices right that was another way for people with some kind of money to be able to escape uh, the current situation right and to me right looking at that i was seeing lines being drawn between you know different strata of society depending on how much money you have you're going to be able to afford more or less freedom basically right so and no vax over here is the same sort of thing is being communicated to people of his ilk that maybe they can just how much they could get away with right like he can not get vaccinated and uh, still be able to be who he is right participate and and, and play tennis and you see you already see all the sheep getting behind them and and you know rallying behind this guy when from what i understand and look i don't follow him i don't listen to all his announcements speeches if he gives any i don't know or whatever he puts out there on, on social media but from what i have heard is that he was fighting for athletes not to have to not everybody right he's so he's not against uh, COVID restrictions or mandatory vaccinations for everybody, but he's fighting for his strata, people like him, right? People on his level, he's fighting for their rights. And the sheep beneath Novax are also fighting. Instead of fighting for themselves, uh, they think they are. They're fighting for him, right? Instead of taking the example that he presents, right, and pooling their money together, let's say, and doing engaging in class action lawsuits and things of that nature uh they're going out in the street waving flags right externalizing their power and getting behind this guy that doesn't give a fuck about you right or at the very least he won't stick his neck out there for you but he will stick his neck out there for himself and, and people like him and again we'll see where this goes but they're basically going to show us what money can buy you right and how much it's going to cost to get however much freedom you can get, right? This is basically, it's a negotiation um, 
where we're going to learn the, the true price of freedom, basically, right? Okay, if you could call it that. <laughs> so, you know, eh. Do you really think it's his name is, is, is a coincidence? Really? Really? Okay. Take care.